I've never been hugged by my father. I agree. Let's, Let's share, share our dumb, dumb opinions. opinions. Oh shit, was that the cue? Fuck. 65,000 Iraqis are attacking a city called Mosul. It's protected by 5,000 ISIS right now. How do you guys feel about that? It's a city called Mosul? You can call it that. Okay, I'm down. It's Mosul, boys. Is, is this Iraq or Syria? It's Iraq. I literally He's said... He just said Iraq. No, <laughs> I'm sorry. You got this thing called you Gears, dude? Them. You open them up and you listen. Uh, can you rephrase the question? Because I don't understand. It wasn't a question. Oh, I plead the statement. fifth. I plead the fifth. Is this where they're stopping? They're just stopping at the city? Right now, okay, the 65,000 Iraqis, right now, they're pretty much fucking aggroing the city because it was taken by ISIS, and now they want to redeem the city. And right now, they've actually set up over 66, 76,000 tents they set up to protect the Fujis because the city is going to be destroyed. You just call them Fujis? Fujis. Refugees. Woo! That's some lingo. I never heard that. Really? Fujis, yeah. I was thinking it's you're Fugees. talking about, like, the, the water. And there's just a bunch Fiji? of water. Yeah, yeah that, Fiji, makes, no, that Fiji. makes sense. That's a logical conclusion. 76,000 yeah. Fijis. Yeah, just a big fucking... They need water in it's the a water fucking... Plant it's a Fiji. fucking desert, dude. That's probably where we get the labor, you know? Yeah. And how do you guys feel about that? That pretty much there's going to be a massive battle? Arguably, it's happening as we speak right now, people. I are... don't like how we're spouting this out and they know about it now. I see your point. Like, the fact that we know about it takes away from the plan of, you know, attack or surprise. Mm. But may I offer a counterpoint? Nowadays, no. it's... Oh, okay. Yes. All right. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, nowadays, it's pretty hard to uh, really get surprised when so much, uh, like, information's available. I highly doubt ISIS has spies in the CIA and stuff. Well, maybe it's a warning to the civilians to, like, well, GTFO. That is possible as well, but it's not necessarily CIA because they're all, lo they're all local and for, like... People, they're like lo local officers. But they're, they're, it's shit. not like they're preparing the attack like right below the city. It's probably over in Baghdad or... No, but there are uh, ISIS infiltration because don't forget, the people there, they're using their own people. If America and Iraq are smart, they won't be telling the common soldier what's about to go down. If America and Iraq were smart, th none of this would be happening. I just got... What was I, that, Lauren? I, I just well, got... Oh, oh, I think Lauren just had a very good point. I Please. sneezed. You sneezed. That's not a good point. I... I... I'm sorry. I mean, for a woman, that's a pretty good job. I agree. God, that is, yep. I mean, barely at that, but... Mm -hmm. I mean, actually, Lauren, how do you feel about this? Stop the being... ISIS thing. Yeah. Not um, the baking. Not, yeah. not the baking? Not the, the kitchen. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah, how do you feel about that, Lauren? Because like... you are a woman and ISIS yeah, is pretty... Yeah, you know, um, of course. I, no, on a serious level. No, no. ISIS fucking hate, doesn't hate women. They just treat them as lesser. How do you feel they about that? They just hate that? women. A, lo a lot of Muslims do. It's like... Oh, folks, I got some stats for you. Let me yeah. let me find some stats, folks, and you're not going to oh like my. these very much. No, no, but how do you feel about the attack? Do you feel that like this attack is good? It's great? It's It could, other ways could be been done better? Let them surrender or what? Um, if they should give ISIS the option to surrender. If they don't, I say go with the attack. Okay, I got some stats about Islams that hate women. Um, Islams that hate women. Yes, and I, I not would... Not Muslims that no, hate no, women. I, Islams that hate women. Yeah, okay, Muslims, I'm sorry. No, that's fine. Let me phrase the question, because that, that's kind of fucked up. Muslims, and this is a majority speaking about uh, the Sunni brand of the Muslims, because that's what the... That's the yeah, the majority. Sunnis are the that's, scary yeah, ones. Yes, the the Shiites, are, they're a lot chiller. Yeah. So, like, according to the uh, head of Hillary Clinton's department, like, the not the State Department that she was working in, but, like, the head of her campaign, mm -hmm. because of the leaked emails, they the uh, website 4chan created a good graph about what people inside of the Sunni religion. 4chan, they, the daily dose of leukemia. Yes, exactly. Thinking about how, like, uh, like, the, the bad things, beliefs. the traditions yeah. and beliefs. So, according to uh, all the statistics, they combined them. So, wife should obey husbands is considered a um, big deal? Is, is a big deal by 1.3 billion Muslims out of the 1.6 billion Muslims. That's a, a moderate belief. Yep. That's not that bad. And then it goes all the way down to um, death for leaving Islam at 584 million Muslims. Out of how many billion? Out of 1.6 billion 1. Muslims. That's a little so like less. like one third. Holy so yes, fuck. one third of Muslims in the entire world think that you should die for leaving the religion. That is a true that's statistic. A big, uh, that's a big fucking that, number. That and is on there. This was gotten uh, from Hillary Clinton, you said? The leaked this emails? This was from, yes, this is from leaked emails from the uh, 
head of the Hillary Clinton campaign department. So I can't, I can't argue on these because they're yes, fucking. They, like, they are these from are, like the these actual. Were gotten, yes, yes. Holy they shit. were emailed to each other. They were talked about it. It's like on average, thirty percent of the country believes that you should die if you leave the. the Do you feel that statistic further proves the fact that this attack is good on ISIS? Uh, yes. So yeah, we're, I mean, we're all pretty much anti-ISIS. I mean, yes. I am. There's no reason not to be anti-ISIS. They're not standing for anything good. They're they're standing for their backwards ass religion. And it, like, it feels bad to say that because I know that a there lot of people, Muslims. there are, there's 100% good Muslims. There's a ton of them. And it, but they're like majority, the Americanized and Westernized Yeah, we, we talked about this in the other episode. And the, the rich ones, yes. The ones that are in America or the UK are like, that's pretty much it. Yeah. The one, <laughs> the, the not one, Germany. Germany doesn't count. <laughs> so, no! The ones that are the ones that are here. Those are normally the more uh, assimilated. Yes. So, like, they're not going to be spouting as crazy shit. If you come to a country, adopt their culture. It's simple as that. Yep. Exactly. But luckily, America has no traditional culture other than eating way too much food. Did you know I the Chinese know. people? When they come over to the United States, and this is strictly oh, Chinese they shit people. in the street. No, they, oh, you play? I mean they, they do, but yeah, is this the mainlanders? We're talking about just Chinese in general, like, West or East about, Chinese? Because I, I mean China's fucking. Yes, I, I I think that it would be more towards the the West of the Chinese. Ooh, yucky. But in in like a majority of the Chinese people that come over to the United States, they call us uh, foreigners. Their word I can't remember what the exact Chinese word for foreigners is, but uh, if you ever hear them say some fucking word it most like if they're like referring to a group of americans sitting at their buffet for 6.99 they're probably calling oh go get some shit for the foreigners over there so they're to in eat- our country calling us foreigners correct that is a That's correct thing fucking stupid they, they call us foreigners just because no it's fucking dumb lauren it is dumb and dumb. fuck you lauren God damn it. yes it is dumb what's that shit uh cultural appropriation, appropriation. <laughs> Suicide. Well, how is that? That's not cultural appropriation. No, it's not. It just reminded me of it. I, I don't, mean, I don't want to start in that. Six ninety nine for a Chinese buffet. You can call me whatever, whatever the fuck you want, yeah, dog. Dude. I need some fucking dumplings, pronto. <laughs> yes. So six ninety nine <laughs> is a bar. You can go. Hey, hey, you five fuck. Look, I don't care. I go to a Vietnam. But what if there? What if there's uh, bugs there, like the place that we went to? Six ninety nine. You, the bugs are expected. The bug to money ratio, you know. Extra that, protein. Yes, extra, extra protein. protein. Obviously, the, lo- the cheaper it is, the more bugs. It's like directly proportional. Yeah. At twenty ninety nine Chinese buffet, you got some fucking dank ass food. But six ninety nine, do you fried. really expect? I, I saw a video. I shouldn't. Could, I just want to tell. I'm gonna. I'm gonna let you know straight out. I forgot everything that was in it. <laughs> oh, it's good. I, I saw the video once, but I don't remember any of it. Can we all give a round of applause for Carlos? Yeah, Amazing. Genius. The video was talking about. It's like a checklist of. This is a proper Chinese restaurant versus like a uh, one that you know it's gonna be like a shit service. Or that was called strictly. Oh, well, the, the channel's called strictly dumplings. Are you serious? Yep, I've seen it. Oh, I've seen this video. Thank and God. They have a lot of. Uh, yo, shout out to that channel. That channel is awesome. They have like 20 minute long uh, videos of them walking around Chinese supermarkets, Japanese supermarkets. Uh, I think they looked at a Korean supermarket. It's very entertaining to see all different types of ramen and all different types of frozen foods the guy eats a fuck ton and he's always out in like korea and japan and all that other bullshit it's There's a very actually, good we're getting off topic yeah we are okay, yeah. Uh, lauren i was gonna continue on like the chinese topic and like the supermarkets but we're off topic i mean we're pretty much off the video i mean we all hate isis i mean lauren yeah arguably, I, hate, I hate you ISIS. know it's arguable that uh lauren is actually part of isis yeah um, we have okay, I'm an ISIS the last I'm part pro. of the video not the video the uh the notes that kyle took from me good job on that kyle by the way is that seventy-six thousand tents have been set up for support but three hundred thousand are needed and the last last point is america and, and france are teaming up to provide air support for the attack so where is Russia gonna go into this? Because Russia, we've I mean, been beefing with Russia. Um, Russia, Russia is, in or is it, it's only Syria, right? Yeah, Russia's Russia, only Syria. in Syria. It's because Syria is Russia's ally, and we don't. Well, to be honest, America, we're just a shit show. We're supporting fucking hella, <laughs> so many rebels there, but we're supporting rebels that generally are pro-American. But it's really hard to distinguish yeah, pro-American. Yeah, exactly. It's almost impossible. A lot yeah. of those rebels end up giving their weapons to ISIS. Exactly. Yeah. So we're indirectly like, there's a, it's a shit show in Syria. We're we're funding terrorists. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, but yeah. it's not. I I can't say that it's on purpose necessarily. Yes. 
No, 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 no we're not funding terrorists on purpose. Yes, we're we funding. Oh, actually, technically, the definition of terrorism is yeah. Okay, technically speaking, rebels. These rebels are terrorists because they're attacking the government using terror to enforce their demands. So they are technically terrorism. It's so hard Kyle to find right. who's right in that situation. Like the no government, one is right. Yes, exactly. The fact that foreigners are influencing a local thing, let it happen naturally. Yep. There's, it's it's a bunch putting, of spaghetti. In my opinion, don't put your nose in someone else's business. Simple as that. This kind of reminds me of the time that uh, the um, the government put a bunch of guns into Mexico, trying to stop the fucking gun lords or some shit like that. Yeah. What? what do you guys remember what the name of that was called? The I, plan I forgot, but they put GPS trackers and guns, and we shipped them to drug cartel leaders. It didn't and then work. the batteries died in the GPSs, so the drug cartels got like sixty-five thousand dollars worth of guns for free. Well, they paid money for it, but like no one went to jail. Yeah, <laughs> I totally remember that. That was that was a very interesting thing. Yeah. It sort of reminds me of that, but not you know obviously the Mexi or uh, the the government had a pretty good idea about the um the Mexican thing, but like the Syrian shit is fucked. So the it's Iraqi thing, uh, final you have uh, final opinions. Seven seven words or less. How do you feel about it? Fuck ISIS, America. Fuck yeah, that's it. Perfect. Uh, I agree with Hayden. Fuck ISIS, America. Fuck yeah. That was too many words. The too oh, yeah. many words. Kick her. Go, I'm out. She's gone. Okay, leave one. Goodbye. <laughs> See ya.